The BurnBot RX-1 is a moving vehicle that lays down black lines as it travels. You can think of it as a mobile burn chamber. And it was created as a force multiplier so that very precise, clean, and safe prescribed burns could be done with a very small crew. Inside the burn chamber of the BurnBot, there's three arrays of propane torches that can be very well controlled in terms of the flame length and the temperature of the flame. In the front of the burn bot is the equipment chamber that contains electric generator for power. There's propane tanks to supply the torches. There's water tanks to supply sprinklers and cooling for the fans. And there are air blowers that supply the air for the torches. The RX-1 has a ground clearance of 22 inches. The two large fans at the top of the RX-1 draw air out through the top of the chamber, which causes airflow in along the bottom edge of the burn chamber. That inward airflow keeps embers and flames in. It's, it's a critical part of the flame containment system. That air coming in also helps oxygenate the flame, so we burn at high temperature and high oxygen. And that, in turn, allows the torches to burn the smoke that's being produced, which is one of the ways in which the burn bot reduces smoke output. The last step in the process chain for the burn bot is extinguishment, which is accomplished by a series of water spray nozzles and a very heavy roller. That way we have no hot embers and no leftover flame at the back of the burn bot, which eliminates the risk of escape fire. We think one of the most effective uses of the burn bot is to protect critical infrastructure that's in or near the wildland urban interface. We can come with the burn bot and raster burn right next to this critical infrastructure. And we can do that precisely, cleanly, very safely with little or no smoke. And then we can treat the rest of the land, the large open area nearby, much more quickly and at lower cost by doing what I call checkerboarding which is to make a series of horizontal black lines and vertical black lines, leaving something like a checkerboard pattern of open, unburned squares in between those black lines. Then each one of those parcels can be independently burned later. With the burn bot, we have the flexibility to burn in a wide range of weather conditions. Um, even relatively wet grass can be burned. Very dry grasses can be burned because there's no risk of escape fire. So we can burn outside of the normal burn season, which is very important in scaling the use of good fire.